By special arrangement with United Artists Corporation, Magnetic Video Corporation is proud to offer the following special video presentation. Are we ready to hit the road? I so. believe so, sir. All right. You documenting uh, everything? I haven't done this in a while, so might as well. Good. Okay. Off to Kansas. The yeah, antenna, though, is pretty good, so you can use it for your uh, HD. radio All when right. the time comes. Well, actually, I don't have the great connector, but that's okay. I have to use my spawn. Okay. Been a few Winds aloft are almost ago. from the south over the northern part of the moderate wrist. <laughs> you should yeah. be okay. <laughs> which is obviously not desirable. Sweet. But, um, seeing it. <laughs> like March 28th, if you have super backed winds at the surface, it won't matter. Mm -hmm. But of course, yeah. that would shove storms north toward the warm front and shove them over as it flows to parallel. I think I'm going the right direction. Right, yeah. Take a left, actually. Right here? Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, well, I guess All what right. I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is I'm favoring uh, the southern part of the moderate as well. My boss yeah. is just more room. isolated, slower, slower moving. A <laughs> little better instability. I mean, certainly there'll probably be some tornadoes in close to the uh, surface low warm front, but they're going to get shoved over the warm front quite. I don't like that at all. I um, I think we're talking the same area. Right, Dodge City is. So, are you even thinking further south towards Western Oklahoma? Possibly. Like, like Western Oklahoma is not looking too bad, but I don't even know if we can make that. Now, where am I going? I'm going to get over here yeah. right again. So, cap. I mean, we have. Yep, that's a big storm. That uh, might be topping out at 30, 31,000 feet, which is a big one. I where I come from. I think a remote control plane could probably fly above the top of that thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. It's always an adventure with Dr. Brown. Jack Ashery, I have a PhD. <laughs> Doctor. Yeah. I mean, in, in true Jack Ashery, not like, <laughs> you know, fake Jack Ashery like some people try to pull off. <laughs> Been to raise up and get your travel on? From the interior to the exterior. You've got to get your posterior in one of these big ass planes. I it's dog. You lay in the cut straight sitting on your ass and getting your drink on and your snack on while we floss and fly this mofo all over this pitch. Here, East Coast, oh. West Coast. Keys Lane. It don't matter. Nia will get you to your home with that lickety splits. No s. Put it on. Then you'll be back at your crib chilling with a flat spliff, thinking we were some crazy ass angel. Hell. These fat, round, thick ass vessels run up in the sky so deep, it beat crying. Yeah. You thought it was right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he was uh, explaining to me the uh, spotter network thing. Yeah. yeah. That I guess you said you have? Yeah. Okay. It's actually the uh, weather service here this year is actually starting to run that. So they can actually keep track of the like, spotter chasers. Okay, so but here in Lincoln, what, Illinois. what's in it for regular chasers though? Just to have their name on the map? You know what I mean? It, just to see where their friends are? Or? More or less. Yeah, just so. Your mind doesn't have to call you to ask you where you're at. Neat. <laughs> what was uh, Doug saying about Kansas? I was going to get to that. Um, so from the spotter network thing, most chasers are in Kansas where nothing is happening. <laughs> um, it seems to be capped still. Huh. Um, I asked him about a satellite picture in a roundabout way just to see if stuff was uh, maybe getting ready to go. And he uh, suggested that it was not and that the only stuff was the Oklahoma stuff southward even though there's tornado watches from texas to north dakota basically no. yeah. still loading are we all awake uh -huh. <laughs> no no do you need someone to switch soon uh maybe 
Okay. There. Let Close. me know. Well. By the tornado, several injuries. A hospital as well there. A partially collapsed. Several people trapped there. All sorts of injuries to report from that hospital. But Associated Press this morning reporting that at least one person has died. We are all over the story. Our rental pool as well. Keep an eye on the weather situation. That game is two cents. Double his money. Pay the devil is new. <laughs> Here's your uh, two cents. Okay, you doubled your money. Yep. Well, I'm probably going to need to get food. Yeah, there isn't much down there. Down there. I mean, when we fill up for gas, you know, yeah. before we hit the road. Um, is there a McDonald's or something? Yeah, there's, there's like a sign. Tiny. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Alright, so that's all I need. Is that okay? Are you done looking at this here? Yeah, we should probably go, yeah. given the danger of earlier initiation than normal. We should probably roll. I'm all packed ready. May 5th, 2007. First chase of the year. SPC has placed a high risk across most of central Kansas into south central Nebraska and extending down to the Oklahoma border. As a barn burner of a storm system works its way into the central plains this afternoon. Concerned about early convection going up around one. Hence we are getting onto the road presently in Topeka and heading west on 70 towards Hayes. We will reevaluate as we go. The less obvious, the better. Yeah. Um, we have a high risk of uh, truck testicles. Unbelievable. What are you making that? I think them are deer nuts. Okay, so Salina back. Just east of Dodge City. You're a PDS tornado watch to our west. Just about to enter the watch box at uh, 10. Go and read the discussion here. In Waukini, Kansas, at noon. Everything's uh, pretty much southerly here and uh, linear looking. Getting sprinkled on just off of I-70. There's our cell that I just showed you in real time. And there's to the south of it near Dodge City. Looking north on 283, updraft base right above us. We have stopped, taken some observations. Elapsed time, I don't even know why I'm bothering videotaping this. That's looking to the north. Still at a standstill. Okay, still early in the day, 121. The consensus is now to drop south and head east on 70 in hopes that the wind fields back more as these storms progress eastward. And that's the update. We're just south of Hill City and we're heading back south on 283. Okay, we've stopped in Russell and uh, Keith will fill you in on the rest. Uh, that's us, this white dot right here, that's us. 
Isn't that cool? That's us right there. Yeah. And uh, we have some linear cells that are staying linear and uh, not doing much at all, which is why we're stopped in Russell. Uh, because one of our chaser partners uh, needed to take a crap. <laughs> uh, that's one reason. Uh, some people need some caffeine, myself included. Uh, and I just want to make sure that you know that the ob at Russell uh, is um, waiting for the loop. Oh my god. <laughs> 77 over 66 south at 28 although it shows south southeast well I just noticed the symmetrical antennas and it reminds me of the uh, the commercials for I believe it's singular yeah. with the bars raising the bar oh that's right we're raising the bar here out here in Kansas today we're raising the bars chasers yes hold off of 283 It actually has some kind of lowering under it, which is uh, unheard of today. Yeah, it broke up. <laughs> so what really needs to happen is back in that brighter area, it needs to take a rear flank downdraft back there, try to wrap it into the updraft while the inflow goes in, the, in that, you know, it's been a tornado in there. But a little more southeast winds, it's isolated. Mm -hmm. Might be a chance. Meantime, Threatnet went out again while we were dorking around Gorham and uh, talked to Tony Lubbock and uh, he got a second hour report that the Pratt storm is tornado warren, which means the southern end cell, which looked like junk, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, now uh, is a supercell with a rotating wall cloud per uh, Vern Carlson, I yeah. believe it is. Okay, we are the dot here and we are, the dry line is very pronounced to the west. Now we have two tornado warned, uh, what appear now to be supercells. One uh, to the northwest of Kiowa, and then the uh, Stratford one. This one just went tornado warned within the past few minutes. I think it's going north. Yeah. So it's going to be just, just as hard to intercept that one. Doing a little easterly jog here at 524. Going to uh, continue south at Hoisington. Not that many people on that tape is going on. Not that you know of. No. Not everyone has the little track yourself program. Just got a severe warning put on it, but judging by the reflectivity and velocity, it appears to be a tornado threat still. Uh, you're looking at the gray uh, northeast edge of the core here ahead of us. Uh, we're going to have a south option coming up about six miles away that will take us south out of this. We'll have a view of the updraft. We should have a decent intercept on it, whatever it's going to do. That's what we got. All right, going south on 56 through Larned, Kansas. Um, the supercell which is quickly transitioning into a right mover to our south. 610. This doesn't look like it's really rotating, but this is our mezzo. It's not seeing any rotation with it. So the radar's seeing the couplet, but it's just at the low levels it's gusting out. Yeah. And these sort of look like they're going to cock out a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're at Highway 19 and uh, 40th. There's actual rotation developing right yeah. there. Forward, forward I see. Going left to right, back yeah, yeah. Going right to left. You're right. Bugs are sucking up. What is this, wet? 
RFD. It's trying to RFD right here. This will be your party spot. Nice. If, this, if this can wrap, if this can wrap, we'll have something happening. We, it's, it's giving it a shot. It's giving it a shot. Oh, is this gusting out again? Yes. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, the, the RFD is running amok. Yeah, should we go? Not yet. The danger zone would be up there for tornado. I mean, this is the RFD wind and the precip was so far back. Possible, uh, what is it? Is that a funnel, Keith? Look to the northwest, back in there, it's gray. Is that uh, rotating at all? Yeah. Oh, that, that lower whitish thing right there, that, that could possibly... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, no, no. Thinking about it. Yeah, we're going to lose contrast. Let's move, dude. All right. Okay. Tornado on the ground to our northwest. Yeah, agreed. Turn it, I was roping out.
Nice. Uh, wait till it fully dissipates. Any second now. What's this new thing? Anything to be concerned no, about? No, that's all out flow. So okay. Yeah, we're done. The new We're done? Done. Action the storm uh, affect those of you in Boisington uh, in Central Barton County. North so, on uh, 30th Avenue. The radar actually showing the, the most intense portion of the storm where the uh, likelihood for the large hail is is actually off to the all right. west. 219 dead end. Must be it. Yeah. Now we have the uh, the hordes. I said one time on the air, you could spit on the racetrack and spin out sometimes. And that's how sensitive they can be. Just about the case. That uh, little bit of mist has intensified again. Slow moving. So they're all blowing off the uh, Great Bend HP storm now. Yep. Okay, there goes the Tiv. Um, and I, I swear probably about 10 cars, 10 chaser vehicles went by at least. We got a traffic jam here on this road. Oh, <laughs> there's an old joker. At 281. Stop doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that intentionally. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, synopsis, uh, we're at 281. We're going to go south because there's a new tornado warrant supercell coming up from the... Uh, it's coming out of Comanche County into Kiowa County. Uh, Doug? Okay. Doug? That's a hook. Oh. And those storms just seem to continue to develop around that area and then move our direction. So while uh, the uh, storm that was in Great Bend just a few moments ago is now located near Hoisington. A chasers. To move to the northeast of 35 miles an hour. It's about the storm is behind it that was approaching 20 Garfield plus cars ahead of us. And still more and south. weather developing even south and west of that. So and uh, that probably 20 plus cars behind us. To what we should do in the event of a tornado warning. Let's just get past all these people. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the next road west. Let them past. I don't know what cell they're talking about. I don't know what that the hell's that mean. Look at the Mamadas above us. Oh wow. Nice. Uh, we have a tornadic supercell uh, to our southwest. It's accelerating northeastward. We tried to uh, go south and west to uh, get a look at it, but it accelerated northeastward, plus the road was dirt, we couldn't make it west. So now we're forced on the only north option, 281, to uh, get a look at the mezzo as it comes toward 281, uh, northeast at about 40. And right now it's about, looks like about 15-ish. 12 and a half miles maybe out to our uh, west-southwest. So we're gonna go north and uh, try to get a look at it as, go as it goes by. Okay, thank you. All right, we're passing a, the damage path of a tornado from yesterday. Trees bent everywhere. There it is. You see something? Southwest. Okay. Fresh damage from yesterday, and there's our base. Whoa, sounds like dark in that area from southwest. I can't tell yet. It was like a blocky something. Wow, wow. right to you. There's a little tree damage left here. I missed it. Uh, west on 50 here. It's still down here. Oh, that's a whole area of trees wiped out here by something really wide. I wonder if this is the Greenberg Wedge. Uh, what's that? What? Southwest. Well, it's it's blocky. I mean, it's very dark. Can't really can't tell. tell right now. But there could be. That, that ball clock, well, it could be a wedge. I mean, we can't tell until we get a good lighting. Ooh, that looks nasty. But you see, it's so dark. Yeah. You can't tell. I know I what you're talking about, was. Mark. But it's, it's, yeah, it's a V it's, shape. Yeah, tour. That's a big tour, I think. You, you think so? Yeah, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in. Got a nice shot. All right, we're gonna have to clear these trees, which are clearly damaged by a tornado last night. Holy crap! Look at that. Jesus. This had to be really wide. Walk by. I mean, really fun dragging. 
This thing is, uh... That might be a... Kicking. That looks like a tornado. Yeah. yeah. It's a tour. That might be a fat cone. It is. It's on the ground. I see Did, it. Are you absolutely sure? I mean... Uh-huh. Are you positive? Yeah, Holy cow. Positive. Man. So what we're gonna do? That is a wedge. We're gonna clear. We're gonna clear the trees. It is a wedge. Yep. Well, kind of a wedge. Clear these. This grove of trees. Keep yep. going. Yep. 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 And as soon as we're gonna Face be past that, um, yeah, we'll turn around. Wow. Time 7:55, and we have apparent large tornado to our southwest. We are near uh, what town? Wow. Oh my God. It's real murky. All right, you want to stop soon? Yeah, 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 because that's coming at us, so. Okay. And, and we don't need to turn around yet. Let's just shoot it right here. Okay. Let's go. We're going to get a look at that in just a second. Let's film the wipers. Wow, that is a huge wedge. Huge tornado on the ground. Wow. Alrighty. Very large tornado. Wow. Is that going to pass us? Dark for stills. Okay, I'm gonna give up on stills. Incredible. I could hear Roger Hill with that. It goes uh, silver lining. What? Yeah, let's go further west. Kind of cross in front of us. Or do you think that's moving out? It's going due north? It's going north to the east so we can go west. All right, let's do it. Tornado. Uh, we're on 50, about six miles west of 281 for position. again by a large tornado. Two days in a row. It's almost moving uh, due north, almost. Because as you can see, we uh, it hasn't really gained on us at all. We're closing on it now. Now we got to go to the RFD slot. Very nice structure. Wow, that's great. That is excellent. Anyone taking stills? Uh, I can't. No, it's too dark, I think. Yeah. It's definitely kind of a wide shot. Man, oh man. Well, you guys shoot around me. Yeah. There's the wide. Crossing uh, 50. Okay, you're good. That silver lining. Yeah. Blake is correct. Coordinates north of 50. Here's the RFD. Setting my window. Yes, you should. And now we're probably really going to lose uh, contrast on it. Boy, I can hardly see it in my. Uh... Yeah, I got to zoom out. I got to zoom out to look at it. There we are. Yep. Damn. 
want to keep proceeding? It's north of the road now. Right, we're moving that way. Yeah. So we're in a relatively, relatively okay spot. I can kind of make it out still. Yeah. Well, man. Probably, uh, probably 60-ish. Uh, no. Beyond. Yeah, just, uh... Not a cop. Uh, just a warm warning the local. Alright. Well, yeah. large tornado is still there. Very hard to make out, but it's there. So, uh, it's right. Okay. You can go ahead and uh, pull over, and the reason why. Now we're getting on the south side of the hook. Yeah. And we're going to be shrouded in rain anyway. Right over here. Yeah, I see it. It's kind of thinning. Yeah, so you want to take your last shots here through the windows. Go for it. So anyway, uh, I can maneuver the car so I can, you can open that window and shoot out. Uh, or it's not even worth yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, man. Getting hit with RFD here. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and back out because this Thor might do it again. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty still on our feet. Shit. Uh, well, how's it look on radar? Oh, we're turning around here. Whoa, look Whoa, behind us! Oh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Uh, uh, what you call it? Silver lining is very near that. Right. It's still, it's yeah. touching down here. It's, it's coming it's down. down. So you'll get a bit of view of it. Yeah, it's a wow. good little finger there. It's trying to go down. So the lighting's turning around. Whoa, geez, oh, Pete's. There it is. You weren't expecting that, Well, guys. remember I said it might do it again? I didn't think it was going to do it that fast. Is it going to do it over us? No, no. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to open up a window here. The, uh... There's the view of the large tornado still proceeding to the northeast. Yeah, there's still a tornado on the ground back there. There's two tornadoes on the ground. Okay. That's the second one, still uh, in contact with the ground. And that's off to the... Looks like the other one done or no? No, the other one's still going. The other one is still strong and it's cycling. To the northwest, it's touching down again. We have another stovepipe on the ground. All right, tripoded. <sighs> wow. Now the only option really to stick with this is to go back and head north. Yeah. yeah. Which that's why I don't want to stick around here too long because I don't know what this is. Where are they? Go where is everyone going? They must be just watching this. I'd like to just sit here and watch this for the time being. This tornado has been going for how long? I don't know. Whoa! Look at that in the northeast. Oh, sweet. Oh. Son that of a bitch. Still continuing. Okay. Needle to the northeast, on the ground at the same time. Yeah. As this guy. Two tornadoes again. Okay. This box is just wet. It's not a wet, but it's a pretty good size to We've got to be on the northeast. All right. This Gonna pan out here. West. Looking to the Northern northwest. Ready? There's wide. Uh, technically, Blake, he wants to shoot tripod a little well, bit. Well, do you guys want? Let's have a consensus here. Do you want to go? Down here? Yeah, to our southwest. It's getting really nice backlit there. You want to wait till it ropes out potentially? All right. I mean, if you want to go, we can go. I, I, I think contact is pretty good right there, really. Looks like it's. Most people are uh, headed north on this road. 
because they're waiting, they're preparing for the next tornado. Which, I mean, if we got one here, we might as well shoot it. So I'm with you on that. I can't believe how long it's lasting. All right, we're a little, uh, a little east on 50, back towards 281. Time is uh, 8:08. This tornado you're looking at. We shot as a fat cone to our southwest before we jumped in the car to go west. I think it's just about ready to go by that. It is. Because as you can see, it's Look at that, it's fingers. Nice. Meanwhile, look what's in front of that. Did you see that? Well, that's what I'm worried about the new tornado forming, but I think we should go. Let's go. Damage from last night. Jeez, look at the dude. crappy road to St. John, that's it. And these storms are, are the uh, measures moving north. So we got no choice but to go north to the next west option, which is 19, that we took earlier today. So that's what we're doing, and hoping for lightning illuminated visuals. There's two mesos, one pointing in the direction of my camera where the lightning's going crazy, and the other one to the southwest that I can't see. So that's to our southwest. So that means we're gonna we're gonna find a place to assess because we need to pick our spot at 281 where the mess is gonna come to us. Okay. All right. Left on most, so we almost need to go a little south again. Yeah. And basically, well, help me judge. I mean, it might be moving more north northeast, and I'm we're in a good spot. Low. So check it. We might be in a good spot right here. It's moving right. It's moving east, north, north, northeast. north, northeast. Right, so we're almost in a good spot right here. Right. As long as we have a view. It's going to be hard unless we're... Oh, look at that wall cloud up there. Can we go up the road at all? I don't I like, I don't like I this shit do. road, dude. Like... Yeah, we need to peak... <laughs> we're, um, we need to peak the hill here. We're about six miles south of 19, maybe five, on an unmarked road. I don't know what it is. See what I'm talking about? No, I can't see it. Behind the trees. And there's too many trees. We're not going to get past these trees. Fuck. Yeah. We're not going to be able to clear yeah, the trees. Okay, that's shutter boosted all the way. Shutter boosted to two. Yeah, I really think we should bet on the uh, southern one. So southwestern hook. What's happening over here to our west? What is that? Well, there's a hook tornado possibly out to our southwest. You see my viewfinder? How I have it peaked up here? That area, look to the left. That, right? So it's a low room. It's probably a huge mezzo. That's what I'm guessing. Or a low, low uh, mezzo. A very, a very low something. You want to go south? I can't tell you. Oh yeah, look at that hook! We got We might be cut off already. Yeah, look where look at the hook and look where we are. We're cut off. That is a big tornado. Yeah, we're already cut off. So we're gonna have to go north. Okay. Heading north, possible large tornado behind us, we don't know. Hey, talk to me. But the hook is very pronounced on radar. I know. We've, we've been cut off. Tornado in the ground. Okay, more pronounced. It's starting to run at us. Couldn't really tell if it was a big tornado in there or not. But uh, Tony talked to Doug. When Doug called, just called uh, Blake. Said he almost got hit by dual wedges. So he says, I don't know. So, um, but the point. 
the point being is rapidly in like three scans it went from hook to ball to completely rain wrap mezzo in three scans and something big was probably going on in there and Tony seemed to confirm that so kind of a scary night now uh, at this point in time and I'm about to do a big picture to see what we want to do now because it's so hazy with the 72 points low cloud bases inflow stratus it's just glaring flashing light bulbs around you can't see anything any you can't see anything unless you're right on it now now that we're clearing the Merc, uh, the anvil lightning uh, kind of stuff that you get with tornadic supercells is going uh, insane. You know, bolt, bolts crawling for the upper stuff. Um, so uh, today was a Merc chase with the 72 points, so you had to be right in on the tornadoes, uh, except for the first one we got. 54 tour reports. You, you, you counted them up. All right, Dave says 54 reports on SBC so far. No, you think about Southern Kansas? Half now. No, just total reports. Oh, I see. 70% of that, right? Probably. Roughly. Spencer, South Dakota, almost got hit.